Welcome to the party. It's your watch time, friend. If you're seeing me, if you're listening, then it's time to watch something. What's up guys, it's your girl D, and this is Watch Time Friends, where you watch stuff with me, your friend D, because my other friends don't like me enough to do it. Today we are watching X-Men 97 episode 6. The last episode, it was a mess, it was chaos, it was tragedy. They, they really, they really, they really, yeah. <laughs> they really did it to us last time they really did um <laughs> but this episode is called life uh life death part two which i believe is going to be a part two to the or it's going to be a sequel or continuation i should say of the episode we got with storm and forge where the owl came out of nowhere and then attacked them so we're gonna get to see what the heck was going on with that and also something that i did notice at the time but i didn't say anything but like after like editing and stuff like that and i thought about it some more like the owl when it was talking at the end didn't it kind of sound like a mixture of like evil and also storm's voice so like what if she does have her powers right and like the anger and stuff manifested the out the owl somehow i don't know Th that's just my guess i don't know but i'm just saying what if somehow it's like her and conquering the owl is part of conquering herself and being able to get her powers back reach probably <laughs> But anyways, I'm not gonna hold y'all up. Let's watch something. Save as many as you can. We shall not live our days wondering if we could have saved more. OMG, do you really think Magneto and Gambit are out of here? Oh! And um Gene and Scott's son, apparently his name is Cable, came to the past from the future trying to save us before. The whole explosion went off, which is something I was wondering if he could do. Apparently, he could do it. Oh. What is this? What in the Star Wars? Oh. Well. <laughs> Surrender. No. Just perish. Cree, do not. The Cree. Be honored to fall at my feet. Cree. That sounds familiar. Was that in like, uh, one of the live-action movies? Save them, Ronan. Ronan. Wait. <laughs> My glorious moment. Oh, it's your sister, the Empress. Oh, joy. <coughs> Dang. My Dang. dearest sister is always of utmost priority. Who is your sister? One year ago, we offered the skills of our mighty heroes to a Terran man on the verge of death. This man helped spare the entire universe from the madness of my brother, Deken. This man has unlocked the secrets to my heart. <laughs> so I, okay. Empress Lalanda, is to be married, and our empire shall welcome a new emperor. Who it is? Professor Charles Xavier. Is this the past? Or... Is anyone going to say anything? To the might and glory of the Imperium. Okay. Is this the past? Our acts of performative jingoism Before he died or whatever? Heritage? He looks and sounds really young, so... Perhaps an Empress could even spend a portion of her time ruling the galaxy from my little corner of it? 
You wish to return to your children, don't you? Merely visit. See their faces. Yet, families often mimic black holes. Visit and risk being stuck in its ever-spiraling vacuum of dramas. Mm. This is especially true with your students. Didn't your brother nearly destroy the universe with the Emkron crystal? <laughs> We're not talking about my family. We're talking about your family. <laughs> Once we crush the Kree, an educator such as you can teach them our ways. Do as you did on Earth. Play the role of the peacemaker. Wasn't aware my X-Men and I were playing make-believe. Will you at least consider Earth? I will. The virtue of a teacher lies in showing their students how to walk on their own. True. But only if he is sure there are no more lessons he can teach them. Hmm. So he's alive. Why order? Jeez. Liar. Traitor. Oh, it's you still there. To help me. How many have suffered his gifts? You will not break me. But I can fix you. Forge made his bed. Let him die in it. All lives deserve saving. Where are you going? Uh. You go for help. But there is no pill for my poison. Let him die. Look the other way. Look the other way? You're not an X-Man anymore. Well, where did that get you? Kissing the hand that beats you? I do not fear death. I know. You fear living. Is that why you fear your power? Sought refuge oh, with this monotone family? Enough! Let me out! Lord of Chaos! Weaver of lies! I tear your threads and break your loom! Is this working? Oh my goodness! <sighs> Despite my best efforts. Careful. Your shoulder. I'll get it to be straight. We need help. Despite his magical, perhaps her mother's book holds an answer. She wrote about a cacti. Grows in nearby caves. It's aloe is powerful magic medicine. Then we ride together, my love. The Empress, Lilandra Niramani. And her royal consort. Your man speaks as if I am your pet. <laughs> Not an entirely displeasing thought. Hush now, beloved. You may bark later. Uh. I have known you since you were but a hatchling and wish only for your happiness. A hatchling, you say? We have been trapped in so much change. Some yearn for the stable comfort of what is familiar. A rotten sugar's his words, my sister. Your consort was born on the wrong side of the stars. Okay. He is Terran. A union with the Terran would bind the Shi'ar into alliance with his inferior homeworld. Xavier would see his Milky Way ghetto become our new throne world. You are twisting my words. High Council, for the sake of the Empire, I must invoke the right of Emdasha. Was that? The right required. A non Shi'ar pass a test of loyalty in order to wed a royal. I finished that volume my second day here, Deathbird. Not any mere test, Terran. A challenge of my own choosing. Oh boy. You must renounce Earth and erase all memory of your life there. What? Then he wouldn't even be. A formidable psychic. His mind. All his memory. Easily scrubbed. Luckily. That's literally his entire. Like, what? Power. He's gonna be a baby then. All memories of Earth and you, dear sister, must be the one to do it. Then, like, he won't be the man that I wanted to marry. Shara and Kifri. Once enemies, then forced to marry to bring harmony to the universe. What is united if one half must be erased for the sake of the whole? Idealism is also a sign of insanity. I have a very old and very dear friend on Earth who would agree with you. Wise for a Terran. Yes. His name is Magnus, and I wish to remember him. You've made your decision, then. 
Dang, I can't even talk in peace. Do you love me, Charles? On Earth, you fought tirelessly to be tolerated and were nearly killed for it. Why remember? Why not let go? But you refuse. They won't let us be together. Not unless I forfeit my throne, which is exactly Deathbird's design. Oh. My life. Your devotion is beyond measure. I feel a butt. It's time to show you mine. Really? Okay. There, that's it. Snow Snake Tower. All the way over there. <laughs> Union forces. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> the Civil War. I heard the adversary telling you to let me die. Oh. oh I'm so sorry, Aurora, for deceiving you. Before I lost my gifts, I told a friend, my sister, that I often wondered about being human. No matter how many I saved, my mutant gifts inspired twice as much hate in humanity. In a way, your machine failing is a blessing. I am better this way. Really? <coughs> oh. oh no! The cactus grows in darkness. Okay. I know how you feel about tight spaces. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Charles Xavier, do you stand in our circle to complete the right of M. Dasha? I do. And do you renounce all memories of Earth? I think this is a life? bad idea. I do. And of your X-Men. Renounce your X Men. See? He hesitates. Now, why did you come with people? Is this a coup? What you ask of him is no small burden. How can we entrust our mighty empire to a ruler descended of simians? Have our blood mixed with his inferior freak fluids? <sighs> You're doing a lot. My sister, like my brother Deken, has gone mad. Renounce her before her lovesick lunacy destroys us all. What? Gladiator, arrest this treacherous vulture and any who dare to stand with her. Dang. My sorrow! Really? Jeez Louise. What is this guy? No way! The council is watching this, right? Like her sister just tried to kill the the queen or whatever. My greatest gift. Hear me. Class is now in session. Oh, okay. Teach him then. Oh, <laughs> now you put them in an actual classroom. What is this, gladiator? Please raise your hand if you have a question. I have used my vast psychic abilities to draw us into the astral plane. It is time for today's lesson. Okay. Dang it. Did he really think he was going to be able to crawl on his elbows through all of this? Oh, wow. With his shoulder like that? Oh, you got to be kidding. Excuse me? Oh my gosh. Why is it back? How? I guess I have a taste. Ooh, yummy. Fear poached and self loathing. Beg to be saved. Submit, and I will save you and let you live your tempting daydream. In your stomach? No, you demon. Okay. A daydream. What's happening? The executioner's neutralizer was not the only weapon tamping down my gifts. There was that lie, and I believed it. I thought she was earthbending for a second. Believe the lie. Deny your power. You all are an echo of who I am. Uh huh. Ho 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 ho. Mm-hmm. 
You're cooked. I think literally. What? Oh my goodness. Yo! Did we defeat the the bird? Yo. That was so freaking cool. Also, did her hair get longer automatically? <laughs> Hide from loved ones, even as they poison our hearts. Until we finally heal oh, our wow. adversary by embracing it. Dang, that thing was there. Quick. It's starting to heal. Can we whisk away to some tropical island? Not an entirely unpleasant idea. Nations refuse to oh. allow mutants displaced by the brutal attack on Genosha swirl. <gasps> Genosha is the opening salvo in the long series. You came back just in time. It got crazy. Such is yours. Demerits, raise your hand. <laughs> 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 Truth, a harvest of stolen worlds. Younger cultures that have they not been tilled to death oh. would now be empires rivaling your own. Oh wow. Hearing this, you strike at the knees and claim you can help them walk again. But only if they assimilate. The Shi'ar Empire is a snake oil racket. Even you Terrans claim mighty. <laughs> he really raised his hand. <laughs> tells the lie. That for me to be more, you must be less. Who made up these silly rules? Someone who was scared. Even if we were to agree, your idealism would confuse our people. They might even call it nonsense. So, tell them it's not. Want to know a secret? Coexistence is messy. Thus my love for education. For my X-Men. Their heroism teaches a lesson we mustn't forget. That the universe is very old and all of us very young and all children of the atom what's happening heavens no what the gambit Did he feel them die? I must return to Earth immediately. But we've nearly convinced the council. It doesn't matter. While I cowered in the cosmos, the unthinkable has happened. Charles, if you leave, you will prove my sister right about your kind. I will not abandon my kind. It is time I return to my X-Men. Oh, wow. He's about to come back from the dead. I did what you asked. I gave you my DNA to access Master Mold. <laughs> oh. Kill me, please. For what happened in Genosha. Who is I this? You. Don't take all the blame, Oliver. And don't fret the future. Why, Genosha was merely the beginning of a prologue now past. Is that sinister? In sinister. <laughs> Wait. Wait a second. Were they trying to tell us that Sinister was behind the attack on Genosha? Or am I tripping? And if that's the case, why would he do that? Huh. Well, this was a lot. <laughs> But Storm got her powers back. Actually, she's better than ever. Like, insane. I, just, like, whoa. And just in time for, I don't know, revenge? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I get, I, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they're trying to rebuild on Genosha right now. But, like. Bro, and then, okay, so Professor X, like, it's like he felt all of 
when the like the moment that they that all of those mutants that died on Genosha died, including Gambit. So I think he might. I think Gambit might actually be dead. Like no resurrection. So he's coming back from space. Except everyone on Earth thought he was dead. So now it's gonna be like, what the heck? And Magneto's is my wait did he didn't see magneto though he saw gambit so maybe magneto isn't dead maybe he was just really injured bro omg that was insane also i guess i was sort of right about the the bird demon maybe it is a th it was a thing but it was feeding off of storms like negative feelings the entire time and when her negative feelings got to a pinnacle that's when it became what it was like its final form to then be able to terrorize them and and all that um but it was like yeah interesting so it was like i guess that's why it was kind of maybe taking her voice and talking to her because it's like i mean they usually say you're you are your own worst enemy, which is like sometimes true. Like you're the one telling yourself the worst things possible, you know, talking yourself in and out of things you shouldn't be doing or, you know, yeah, that's interesting. Hmm. 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 That sucks that he literally like tried to bind it with magic and then it just came right back as soon as she felt negative again. Hopefully. Now that she's gotten her powers back and she's accepted it, she's like fully in, hopefully it won't come back again. Let's not have that be like a recurring thing to where anytime she feels negative emotions, that thing comes crawling back, trying to feed off of her again. Like, uh, no, thank you. Hmm. Well, I don't know if that meant that the uh, Forge's machine worked or if it was just if it was just in storm all along i don't know like and she just had to tap into it i don't know hmm i wonder if we'll get some more uh answers about that like was it the machine or was it her and does that mean that if someone gets shot with one of those uh guns again that if it wasn't the machine that they could eventually get their powers back i don't know hmm interesting well yeah it, it's a lot going on it's many many developments um i guess maybe next time we'll have to see like how all the x-men are holding up and dealing with the aftermath of this like the whole genosha attack basically um yeah if you made it to this point in the video thank you so much for watching with me um, if you liked it, you can leave a like, and if you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. And if you're interested in seeing these reactions full and uncut in all their glory, you can check out my Patreon. The link will be in the description, and I would love to see you over there. Um, yeah, but that's going to be a wrap on this one, so I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Welcome to the party. It's your watch time. Singing me if you're listening, and it's time to watch.